Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you an updated digital productivity system tour for 2020. I'm going to be showing you all the different pillars just like I did in my whole digital productivity series. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that in the description and in the card. But this is like an updated version. I've changed some things, I've kept some things the same. So this is like an update and yeah, I hope you enjoy. So when I done my first episode, which was about, I think seven months ago on Google Calendar, um, the way I was using it then was only putting in certain events that were happening. So like maybe a class, anything else that I know is definitely going to happen, but I've switched it up now a bit. So now I'm doing something called time blocking. That's where you're actually tracking your time and how you're using it. So the, the thing is that you plan the day before what you're going to do the next day. And then like, you can leave some free time if you like to just leave empty. And, but the thing is, why I use Google Calendar to do this is because you can easily move things as things change in the day. Because you can have anything. You could have like one of your mates text you and be like, yo, do you want to go get some food? I'd be like, yeah, okay. And then you just make a change on Google, Google Calendar. Because like, you don't have to be like productive and working all the time at the end of the day. And yeah, that's what, how I think the whole, like to get a good balance of everything in life. And like, this is why I really like Google Calendar because I can literally take my phone and just, just move something across. If something's taking me longer, so like, this YouTube video right here, I've got like 15 more minutes that I've scheduled to record it. But I can literally go on the app, go to Google Calendar, and so I can see right here, I can click it, edit, and I say I need another half an hour, I can just maybe say, okay, I'll give myself to six o'clock to finish it. Save, X out, then we can just move things along. We could be like, okay, um, maybe I'll give myself half an hour to do some of that for today. Move that to six, six thirty. But okay, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. It's always tomorrow. There's always another day. Yep. Then we just move it along, just like that. It's really that simple. And I really like this because it's a way of you can look back as like retrospectively to see how you've like spent your time. At the end of each week, I try to do something called a weekly review in my bullet journal when I look and see like okay, how well things went over the week, um, and like how productive I've been. Or how much, how many things have I got on that I wanted to get done? Like that, I put my to-do list, which we'll get to a bit more in a minute. But like, how many things did I get done? How many things that I didn't get done? Now, what can I change to my approach for something for the next week? And then just like learning from it. I can go back all the way to about like six months. You can see like a majority of where a lot of time is spent, and it's just, it's a it's a good habit to build. And yeah, I think it's yeah pretty useful. So in terms of to-do lists, when I made my video before, I talked about how I used to do it, and yep, yeah, completely still using it. Pretty simple. One of the best apps out there, and you can get it on your phone as well, which is pretty good. You can just that app right there. Just, and yeah, you can have all your to-dos on there as well. You can, as you can, if you can um, see on here, it's a different colorway to the way I had it before in my video about six months ago. You can put in all the different systems. So on the side, I like have it in different categories, different things like got UEA content, freelance stuff, um, sports stuff, personal stuff, work stuff, and just like an archive for like, like what did I have in there school before, so like A-level stuff. Yeah, I no longer write to do's in um, my bullet journal because there's no point of writing the same thing you're gonna do twice. So yeah, that was just like wasting my time, so then I stopped doing that. But I do do weekly reviews in there. Uh, so yeah, in to is there's loads of different um, sections. So there's like, there's inbox where you can have a load of stuff which either has a date, doesn't have a date on it, um, you have today, so stuff that you just have for today, and then like the overdue stuff goes in today as well. Um, next seven days so you can like plan out if you want to like for the next week if you want to do twos for the, the next week and then yeah like i said all the different sections here and then you have um, labels and filters as well so then you can that is a premium feature so yeah you can um, label stuff or use filters which is pretty cool as well um so on the digital note taking i'm still using notion as one form of digital note taking um but a lot of digital note taking now in terms of uni stuff is happening in one note but Notion is very useful for like task management stuff. And like I write all my scripts and like just plan out videos on here. So like if we go into Notion quickly, I've done a whole tour also on another channel. So I'll leave the links to both of them down below. But yeah, there's just like a load of different sections. I'll go through some quickly. So the main bit is the video section where I have like the plans for all the videos that are coming out in the future. Um, courses, so that maybe courses I'm working on, like some second brain stuff. So that's like just a load of notes on different topics. 
Um, resonance calendar, I've talked about this before. It's just like content that resonates with you that you can save. And there's like, you can just, this can be from YouTube videos, blog posts, um, podcasts, anything. And there's also an app called um, Castro, it's a podcast app. And the reason I started to use that is because you can save things straight from the podcast into Notion and, like, and it would get all the title from straight from your phone. And then you can just go in there and like, write the notes that you want to write. A lot of content stuff. Like I said, I'll leave the link if you want to see the whole tour of Notion. Also, um, OneNote is what I use, like I said, for all my school stuff. So I have all the modules on the side. So I have like accounting, econ, um, like maths, um, organizational behavior, marketing, and um, intro to business. Those are all my modules. And then I just have them all on the side. It just makes it easy because also, I start, like I said before, I started in using Google Docs, but they made it like, it was just pretty long to do stuff like that because each time you have to make a new document, this is just like, it's just really fast compared to it. And yeah, access on your phone. Just makes just makes everything a lot easier when you can go between devices and stuff like that. Digital files organization, pretty much exactly the same. SSD, normal hard drive, hard drive in here, and link between Google Drive. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Backing up stuff from the drive onto an external hard drive, just as like to have a backup. And yeah, um, as I said, having a, you can have something called Google Drive Sync, which automatically syncs the stuff on your computer, on your selected folders onto Google Drive, so you can access it on different computers. So like. Say I'm not on my laptop and I'm on a computer elsewhere, I can just go to drive.google.com and just see all the stuff that is on there that I've linked up. Obviously stuff like video files, I will not have linked there because of how much storage they take up, so I have them on hard drives instead. Lastly, just desk setup. Pretty simple, really similar to the video I showed, but it's basically a different location. That's basically everything. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. Also, I'll leave a link down below to my newsletter and Instagram. Um, yeah, you can follow me over there and sign up over there. Links in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.